The worst theater fire in U.S. history occurred on December 30th, 1903. The Iroquois Theater in Chicago, Illinois, had only been open for about a month, and the house was packed. More than 2,000 people were crammed into the theater. For many, it was standing room only. A spark from an arc lamp ignited a curtain. Stagehands and others backstage tried to pat the fire out, but it spread too quickly. As the actors sang on stage, the fire spread above their heads. The theater had no fire alarm system and no sprinklers. An employee actually ran up the street to the fire department to sound the alarm. And the issues didn't end there. Exits weren't labeled because the signs were seen as unsightly. The doors to the upper balconies were locked so that the people in the cheap seats wouldn't sneak into other seats. And the asbestos curtain that was designed to protect the audience from fire on stage hadn't been installed yet. It led to more than 600 deaths and 250 injuries. In addition to those suffering from burns and smoke inhalation, many were crushed and trampled in the chaos. This tragedy has led to more than one ghost story. The alley behind the theater is said to be plagued by the laughter of children, as many who were in attendance for the matinee show that day were families. Another legend connected to this story takes place at the nearby Macy's. Overwhelmed by the number of bodies, the coroner didn't have enough room for them until loved ones could come and identify their bodies. The bodies were laid out in various locations around the city, including the eighth floor of what was at the time the Marshall Fields building. Legend has it that those on the eighth floor feel uneasy and depressed. Now, I worked in this building for a number of years, and I would agree that I felt uneasy on that floor. It also happened to be the Human Resources Department, so I don't know how much it has to do with the paranormal. 